Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mike Romali here with the Hurricane Alakan discussion for October 30th, 2022, around 1 p.m. Eastern Time. We have a lot to talk about today, including a storm warning out there in the Caribbean. We got a tropical storm that could be forming in the Caribbean, so let's go and jump straight into everything. Taking a wide look across the tropical Atlantic today, we noticed that we still have two systems out there. First of all, a tropical disturbance that's located near Bermuda. This system is not likely to go on to develop over the next couple of days. But then we have Invest Area 95L now to the south of Hispaniola in the Dominican Republic. This system now has an 80% chance of going on to become a tropical cyclone over the next couple of days and could even become our next hurricane out there to monitor. Looking at the system near Bermuda, we notice that the shadow and thunderstorm activity is rather disorganized. There is a low level circulation. We notice that the sea level pressures are lower within this area with that spiraling wind field as noted by those wind barbs. Uh, but we notice that there's not really much going on with this system. Shadow and thunderstorm activity remains very transient. And for that reason, the tropical development really is not really expected. And of course, that shear will increase as well. If we take a look at Invest Area 95L today, we notice that the shower and thunderstorm activity has become much better organized and is now actually consolidated around a common area of low pressure. It does appear so. We notice that the wind field is still a little bit broad. It's not super organized, and that's been indicated by the recon data from earlier today. However, this will definitely have a shot up going on to become a tropical storm and potentially even a hurricane as it moves westward over the next five days. If we take a look here at the GFS vorticity and 300 millibar wind, we notice that the system will be embedded within overall light wind shear over the next several days. There's not a lot of wind shear to prevent the system from going on to develop. And in fact, the biggest limiting factor right now is going to be that mid-level dry air. Now, this is the 6Z run. Our 12Z models are still running, but so far they are coming in a little bit stronger with this system, potentially showing a hurricane landfall in Central America. Now, if we take a look here at the 300 millibar heights coming off the GFS forecast, we notice a series of troughs moving in across the U.S. over the next couple of days, and that initially is going to lead to more of a northwesterly component to our storm's forward motion. However, as we progress over the next couple of days, we get one particular trough that slides eastward far enough that we actually get a building ridge across portions of the Gulf of Mexico, and that is likely to limit the storm's northward motion and actually send it back westward. And we could be looking more at Central America impacts. So at this time, this doesn't really look like a Gulf threat. This looks more like Central America, like Belize. We can take a look here at the model track forecast for Invest Area 95L today. We notice that most of the guidance continues this very close to the island of Jamaica. So we're looking at the potential for shower and thunderstorm activity, potentially some gusty winds, heavy rainfall, mudslides, those type of hazards. Eventually this system will fill that ridge. It will move back westward and we could be looking at a threat for portions of Central America like Belize, the Southern Yucatan Peninsula, and some of those regions that were potentially even affected by the last storm that we had. So this is a wait and see game. And finally, taking a look at the United States weather today, we notice much cooler air coming down behind that storm system that brought a few tornadoes to portions of the Gulf Coast yesterday, including some strong tornadoes even, it does appear across portions of Mississippi and Louisiana and portions of Alabama. That storm system is now moving its way out of here. The dynamic support has weakened, but still the threat for some isolated storms down there across portions of the Gulf Coast today and maybe even Florida. Temperatures remain warm, but will be coming down. And of course, that cold front will be sliding eastward over the next several days. So with that being said, I do hope you have a great rest of your afternoon and evening. Of course, I am Mike Romali, and I'll be talking to you guys again some more tomorrow.